thanks for joining us. We take a look at um, an update for a storm uh, that's going to bring us some precipitation starting tonight, Wednesday, uh, overnight into Thursday, Wednesday the 23rd, into uh, uh, overnight Thursday into the 25th, into Friday the 25th. Um, precipitation. Not actually going to be that much in the way of liquid equivalent of precipitation, but the reason I wanted to give you an update on this forecast is that a bunch of it um, will fall tonight overnight as freezing rain, which could definitely cause some issues on the roads for tomorrow morning. Um, so if you've got to get out and travel early tomorrow morning, definitely be aware it's going to be slick potentially. Um, and certainly um, schools as a delay and even some cancellations in the places where the uh, freezing rain holds on longer are definitely possible. So I just want you to be prepared for that as we head through um, uh, the next 24 hours, basically. Uh, the actual precipitation amounts, they won't help the mud season situation because um, I know a lot of roads are still bad even after several days of improving conditions. Um, but uh, there shouldn't be enough liquid that this is going to be a huge problem, but it's definitely also not going to help, obviously. Um, looking at just a tenth or two of freezing rain, enough to make it slick, but not enough to be hugely problematic, and only about um, uh, overall a, a third to maybe a four-tenths of an inch precipitation overall. So not a huge rainmaker or anything like that, which is good, but definitely still somewhat problematic. So let's take a look at all the maps. Got a bunch of stuff to show you, kind of explain what's going on. So we had our storm, um, and I, if you saw my uh, work week forecast, I've been talking about how the pattern was moving very slowly. That continues to be the case. Uh, this area of low pressure has not has uh, taken really two days to get from the desert southwest um, to uh, northwestern Illinois or eastern Iowa, um, and it's going to take two days to get from here into Quebec. Um, and what's going to happen as it does that? We had some precipitation run out ahead of it. Um, certainly, uh, some of this is sort of associated with uh, the end of uh, not so much uh, here in the northern part of it, but in the southern part of uh, where all the severe storms, storms rolled through the southeast last night. Been a lot of severe weather already this year. Hopefully, that's not a harbinger of things to come. Even here over southern Vermont, a couple weeks ago, we saw severe thunderstorms roll through. So hopefully, um, this is not what's going to happen for the rest of the spring. But it's been kind of a rough spring already for severe weather, and we're not even really into severe weather season yet. Um, so uh, this storm, though, it's going to it will redevelop to an extent off the coast and right up the coast, um, but it won't redevelop in such a way as to lock hole there in. So we will change over anything that falls kind of overnight tonight. It's probably freezing. I've got a couple maps that show you where I think the freezing rain will happen how it will be transitioning. But by the time we get to daylight tomorrow, particularly by 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, I think everybody's changed over to just plain rain. We're also pretty much just sprinkles and drizzle uh, for most of the day tomorrow before a second slug of moisture comes through um, kind of as that second area of low pressure develops along the coast. I think that second area of low pressure will be basically all rain, maybe some very high elevation snow, but I don't think that's anything that most of us will have to worry about unless you happen to be at the top of one of the ski areas or something like that. And even there, I think it's just a coating of snow with that second dairy area of low pressure. Um, in terms of, uh, before we get to that, uh, in terms of uh, what you can just see on satellite, um, you see we do still have some severe weather here um, kind of across uh, northern Florida um, and even a little few severe thunderstorm warnings here with some of the leftover parts of the front um, with the storm uh, across the eastern seaboard, but not nearly as bad as yesterday. Thankfully, um, last night was kind of rough across um, place portions of Louisiana and Alabama and um, even into Georgia. So uh, let's take a look at why we are going to be freezing rain. Because you could say, well, it's, we're in the mid 40s today, and we are mid 40s, even some upper 40s here across southern Vermont. Um, and so you'd say, boy, that's pretty warm to be getting some freezing rain tonight. However, um, if you look over at dew points, you can notice our dew points are quite low. That's why we've been dry even today with a few of the high clouds around. We're quite dry. And uh, temp dew point temperatures, which is dew point, is a measure of how much. What temperature we have to fall to to be at 100% relative humidities, right? So the closer the two numbers are together, the more moist we are. And what will happen is as you start to drop rain into uh, lower dew points, it will bring these two numbers together, right? Um, because basically what has to happen is you start to saturate um, the, 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 the ground, and that will bring the temperature down, uh, cool the temperature off, and it'll bring a dew point up. And they'll meet sort of uh, not quite in the middle, but there's a formula, but we're not going to go into the formula. But just to let you know that our temperatures, one, it's going to get dark, and the temperatures will drop anyway. And then secondly, dew point temperatures being low, it'll take a while for them to come back up some. And what will happen is we're all going to settle out in probably the upper 20s tonight. Uh, to get us started by the time precipitation starts. Cold enough that anything that falls uh, probably will be free, freezing rain because there is an uh, area above the surface that's above freezing, so we're not going to be snow. Um, so then we take a look at this track and how things are going to kind of happen. Um, by this evening, um, the storm is near Chicago. Uh, by tomorrow morning, um, we've moved across Michigan into Lake Huron, and then we kind of move and then kind of stall out 
um, north of Lake Ontario in Quebec, uh, Eastern Ontario. And then um, our area of low pressure here um, does get going by tomorrow evening across uh, the Mid-Atlantic, and then it kind of moves uh, out to sea uh, into the um, Gulf of Maine and eventually into the Canadian Maritimes Friday morning. Uh, by Friday morning, all the precipitation is basically cut off. But um, And it's because this storm, um, it, this storm is not going to completely die. We don't walk in enough cold air that we get snow or other freezing uh, precipitation with this storm, thankfully, except for maybe at the highest elevations, like I said, but I don't think that's really anything we need to worry about. Um, in terms of what it looks like tonight at 2 a.m., I think most areas are freezing rain. This isn't going to be heavy. It's not going to be, uh, it'll be probably a tenth to two tenths of an inch overnight tonight, enough to make the road slick, not enough for power outage issues. I don't think we'll see any power outage issues. Um, I think the only places that might be spared, areas west of Route 7, potentially, in um, Bennington County might, probably even there we start as a little freezing precip, but um, I think you kind of probably hold on to rain in those areas but most of us east of there i think get below freezing um and even if you're traveling overnight tonight anywhere in southern vermont i would be concerned about um those uh, about uh slick roads and then what's going to happen is by uh tomorrow at 8 a.m actually precipitation is kind of becoming just drizzly at this point i think temperatures by this point are abo above freezing to the west of the greens we get enough um uh, southwest flow to move uh, to get everybody above freezing to the west of the greens might still be holding on to some below freezing temperatures to the east so I do think um, freezing rain or freezing drizzle could continue to be falling basically anywhere east of the Green Mountains um, uh, from the peaks east. And so uh, road travel could still be tricky even in through 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning before we do warm up above freezing and things start to get better quickly. Um, in terms of the details of what's going to happen, precipitation begins tonight uh, between 10 p.m. and midnight. Precipitation will be sleet uh, or mostly freezing rain. There could be some sleet pellets, particularly as you go further north to start. Um, for the first several hours across southern Vermont, road could, could, roads could be slippery tomorrow morning, especially secondary roads or less traveled roads. Um, school delays are possible tomorrow morning. Also, a few cancellations, um, I would say, in places that are east of the greens where that might hold on to the freezing conditions a little bit longer. Precipitation becomes liquid and showery through the day. And a final burst of moderate rain is possible Thursday night, overnight, and uh, roads should stay just wet for the second round. A second round only drops maybe up to a quarter of an inch as well. So it'll continue uh, some of the issues with those uh, muddy dirt roads, um, but this shouldn't make it uh, too, too much worse, although some of the damage has already been done there. But hopefully any progress that was made over the last couple of days as things got drier and towns had a chance to get out there and drop some material and do some grading will hopefully not be completely undone by what happens today. Although I would say if you don't need to travel on a dirt road, please be nice to the people who live on dirt roads and do everything you can to avoid them um, just to try to give the roads every chance they can to stay passable. Um, so that's what's going on. If you have any questions, certainly ask away. Um, I'll be back on Friday morning with an updated look at or with a look at your weekend forecast. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons. Or, or actually, first, before that, I want to uh, say thank you and uh, to say subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that before. Helps make sure you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll give a quick shout out to my patrons who help financially support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy. And uh, just thank you, thank them for all of you to help support and make this, uh, these uh, weather forecasts a possibility. Otherwise, we'll be back Friday morning with a look at your weekend forecast. Thank you.